welcome aboard the fake helicopter. We're going to take a ride in the South Bay. We're right now we're looking north to El Segundo, that's LAX, and Santa Monica Bay. We are in the south portion of the Santa Monica Bay in an area known as the South Bay. It's a typical Southern California May, Gray, June, Gloom day. I wish it was sunny, but it's not yet. We're flying over El Porto right now. There's the parking lot that's usually jam-packed, and the surf is usually packed too. A lot of wave stormers, and then Mike Duran shredding circles around everybody. What's going on here? Nobody's out. Well, today's May 11th, 2020. Beaches have been closed since mid-March due to COVID. So tomorrow they actually open the beaches back up. So we're taking the helicopter flight today because this could be the last opportunity ever to get the beach, the LA County beaches with nobody on them. It's just a rarity. So right now we're flying in the north end of Manhattan Beach. You have the bike path to the left. Have some a little hill and some vegetation, and then you have a little walkway, and then the house is on the strand. You see a lot of volleyball courts down there with no nets. When they open the beach tomorrow, volleyball will not be allowed. It'll just be uh, people who are doing activities, running, etc. Mask will be required. You not, will not be allowed to sunbathe. You can go in the water uh, with no mask. So. I'm guessing the surf will be crowded tomorrow. The surf in Manhattan is typical beach break. Sometimes it could get really good. They do pick up some south swell from the southern hemisphere in the summer, and they get a lot of west-northwest swell in the winter, um, but often it's just walled up beach break. Again, a few days where it's just fantastic. We're heading to the Manhattan Beach Pier now. This is at the, uh, the base of Manhattan Beach Boulevard. It's the iconic roundhouse out here. It's uh, now an aquarium. So just come by and take a visit. And you can surf on both the north and south side of the Manhattan Pier. At the base of the pier are a lot of volleyball courts. There's uh, Seems like there's tournaments being held all the time. The most famous of the tournaments are, is the Manhattan Open. And if you win that, you can get a you and your partner get your name on a plaque on the pier. It's both the men's and women's division. And I would say Manhattan Beach is the most famous place for beach volleyball in the world, with Hermosa Beach being second. There's all kinds of big sporting events that go on in the South Bay. One great one is the peer-to-peer -peer swim that starts south of the Hermosa Beach Pier, which we see there. And the swimmers go around the pier, they swim to the Manhattan Beach Pier, they pass it, and then uh, they finish on the beach there. That's a great activity. Well, we're now heading into Hermosa Beach, so we're at the north end of Hermosa Beach, and another great athletic event occurs here. It's the Hermosa Beach Ironman every 4th of July. Starts early in the morning. You run one mile, paddle one mile, and then drink six beers without throwing up in a certain period of time. Once done, a punk rock band sets up on the sand and a big slam pit forms, and it's a super fun day. I've been honored to do both these events, and these are some of the things that make the South Bay great. The Hermosa Ironman tends to draw the best athletes in the South Bay. However, because Hermosa and Manhattan are close to LAX and a lot of sporting venues, there's a lot of professional athletes that live in the area too. Kings players, uh, LAFC, Dodger players, Rams, Chargers, etc. You can see them around town. And when you're on the bike path, you'll also notice there's a lot of tall people. Oh yeah, there's a lot of professional volleyball players here too. Wow, how stoked is this guy driving his tractor down the beach with nobody on it? Looks like the crews are getting ready to uh, get the beach open tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I predict the beach will be a shit show. People will have nothing else to do, so they'll gather at the beach. They'll get there early. They'll leave late. They'll party all day. The lifeguards and cops won't do anything. 
Uh, the surf will be crowded, but people will have a fantastic, fun summer hanging out at the beach, kind of like the old days when there wasn't a lot else to do. That's my prediction. Now we're flying over the Hermosa Pier, where the peer-to-peer uh, -peer starts. And the Hermosa Pier is at the base of Pier Avenue, and there's a uh, plaza down there. There's a lot of restaurants, bars, a lot of nightlife, etc. We're in South Hermosa now, heading towards King Harbor. Now back in the day, Hermosa used to be a little more seedy. It was a huge party town. It was much less expensive. Apartments all over and uh, rent was a lot less. People could come in after high school and college and move into Hermosa, so there's a lot of young people. They even had shirts called Ski Hermosa, whatever that means. Also, Hermosa Beach spawned a lot of the early punk rock bands, like Black Flag, Circle Jerks, Descendants, kind of Red Cross, although they had Hawthorne members. Um, and then later, Pennywise. So, Hermosa's part of music history. This large apartment down there is the first building in Redondo Beach, and the building right on the beach there with the red tile roof is actually the Chart House Restaurant, which is fantastic. Give it a go. Here we are at King Harbor. It's a man-made uh, break wall right there. We actually have a boat there. That's the Wyland Wall. And I have a lot of friends that have boats right down there. They're probably right now going, oh, there's my boat. There's my boat. Easy harbor to get in and out of. It's really nice to uh, be able to hang out at the boat. That big parking lot there is where they have the Beach Life Festival now. That's twice a year. To the right of the parking lot is the Seaside Lagoon, which is the end of the Super Bowl Sunday 10K run they have every year, which is another fantastic South Bay event. It's also the parking lot for a Partridge Family bus. And to the left we have condos, townhomes, and apartments of the villages. See another line of boats down there, kind of in the middle of the screen, while they uh, face the International Boardwalk, which has nodges and quality seafood, a lot of kind of fun places to go to. The pier is the Horseshoe Pier, and it used to be a wooden pier, and it burnt down, and now it's a concrete pier. The Tony's on the pier, which is a really fun place to go. The pier area is really fun to go to, and it's a great spot to people watch. So we had to stop and get some gas for the helicopter and a few fire chiefs for the pilots and passengers at Tony's, and now we're back cruising along the uh, Redondo Beach area, just past the Avenue C uh, Lifeguard Headquarters. Tides come up, and we are in Redondo Beach now, along the beach, is a great beach down here. Up above is the Esplanade. Apartments. My brother used to live in those. So did Dave Rag and Larry Moore. Had a lot of fun, t fun times up there. Anyway, the Esplanade's a street up there that was a four-lane road a long time ago, and they turned it into a two-lane road, added some parking, and uh, it's a, just a great road to travel on. Great views. It'd be crazy if there was a car controlling my helicopter driving on it right now. As you can see, the sun partially came out, and it's a very nice af uh, afternoon here in the South Bay in Redondo Beach. We're heading towards Torrance Beach, which starts where that red roof bathroom is down there, and that's a, uh, the bathroom for Burnout. Um, burnout was named Burnout because there was a swim club up there, and it burnt down in the 50s, and the name stuck, Burnout. Burnout's home to some of the best, biggest beach break surf in the South Bay. People can drop in, and sometimes they make it out of the barrels, most of the time they don't. So now we're in the city of Torrance. Most people don't know Torrance has their own beach, but they do. This is Torrance Beach. The Torrance Beach parking lot, aka BPL, is right above the beach here. It's one of the skunkiest parking lots in LA County, and maybe all of California. Torrance Beach is also the start of the bike path that'll take you all the way to Malibu if you so choose. There's a little strip of land here right before the Palos Verdes Peninsula that's still part of Torrance and right at the end it turns into Rat Beach which stands for right after Torrance. 
I have another bird's eye helicopter video out and it starts right about here and it takes us um, all the way around the Palos Verdes Peninsula and it's with my friend Jason Buck who's uh, a Palos Verdes expert he gives his two cents on PV and Joe Koch who is a paleontologist and he helps us out with all the geology and fossils of the Palos Verdes Peninsula I highly advise you check that out and uh, thanks for flying with me have a great day